We've got some instability in the air across southeast Michigan here as the hot and humid weather kind of gives way to some cooler temperatures. Ben is here tracking uh, some potential storms, Ben. Yeah, Kim, we've got some activity on top of us right now, but you can see that bigger line that's out there on the west side of Lake Michigan. That's coming through tomorrow. Let's go to Fort Live Radar and show you what we're dealing with tonight. Just a few showers and some thunderstorms. A lot of that's in the south zone starting to creep into the metro zone. And we'll zoom in a little bit closer. Could be some downpours in here and maybe a gusty wind or two. Uh, wind gust or two, but generally what we're looking at here uh, is going to be some garden variety stuff. And that's the back edge of it as it starts to lift through. So we don't see a whole lot more, at least right now. Could be having a couple spots develop as we get later into the evening. But tomorrow, as we head towards the morning hours, everything's going to start to decay overnight. And then as that cold front approaches tomorrow, we will be seeing showers and storms develop mainly on the east side during the later parts of tomorrow morning. And then that'll get us to a dry, a dry second half of the day tomorrow. So coming up, we'll talk more about the cooler weekend we're expecting. But if you want a sneak peek of it, check out the local forecasters app. It's got your 10-day forecast and a lot more all in the palm of your hand. Search for free WDIV in your favorite app store, guys.